First off, guys, I just want to say that one of my subscribers wrote this. Kevin wrote, can you make a DoorDash rap video, please? I feel like you would do anything awesome. I'm serious. And so I was like, well, let me put a little something, something together. I just give you just a little taste of something, y'all. Just a little piece, a little, little more so. That's all I want to give you. That's all I got. I actually wrote more, but this is what you're going to get. Little intro for you. Baby intro. And it goes a little something like this. I'm dashing, you know. Subscribe to my channel, get the low. I'm going to be around if you're down with your girl, Steph. I'm going to keep you, keep you in the know. Thumbs up. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Stephanie. Steph D. Livers, you know. All right, guys. Today, we're going to talk about how to deal with difficult restaurant employees. You know, us dashers, we have to endure a lot because, you know, we're kind of like adding on to their workload, this DoorDash business. And um, sometimes these employees can be, can be really rude. And so I'm going to tell you about an encounter that I had and how I um, reacted and um, give you just my true opinion on how I think we should react um, to situations like this. A few videos back, I told you guys that I was going to be bringing you different kinds of videos, not necessarily related to DoorDash, but related to life situations, how to encourage you, how to inspire you just in your daily lives. Okay. But this video is half DoorDash, half inspiration or encouragement, if you will. So we'll start this encouraging thing today and we'll do that right about uh, now. guys so one of my subscribers by the name of Maribel she left the comment and she wrote this hi Steph I love your videos I've been dashing part-time since last November 2017 can you share with us dashes how to deal with difficult restaurants I get regular orders from a Wendy's and Taco Bell in my area and they're always rude and impatient in the drive-thru I know not to take it personal but mm -mm -mm. Us dashes are helping them to please their customers. Thanks. It's funny that she left that comment today. And I had a situation three days ago with the restaurant employee. And I intended on doing a video on it anyway. Now I'm really psyched about doing this video. Because I see y'all going through the same thing. All right. Mm. First, let me tell you about the situation. Then I'll get into how to um, deal with these type of um, issues. So this was my situation the other day. I walk into a restaurant. I won't mention the name. Um, this chick is on the phone. She's at the counter on the phone. Um, she gives me eye contact. She knows I'm there. Okay, let's clear the air right away. She knows I'm there. Eye contact. Boom. So I just lean on the counter. Okay, after about a minute of her being on the phone, a guy walks through. He's about six feet tall. And um, I turn around, obviously, and I, I notice him. And... Um, 30 seconds later, she gets off the phone. She says, how can I help you? To him. <laughs> She's looking directly at this guy. Knowing full well that I was there first. Standing right in front of her, by the way. She just looks right past me. Looks through me, if you will. And I say, who are you talking to? And she goes, well, Whoever's next in line, I'm like, clearly I'm next. And that was it. That was pretty much all I said besides, you know, really? Kind of under my breath, but she probably heard me because I, I didn't really want to come off rude, you know? I just wanted to be calm and cordial and act like she just didn't do what she just did, even though I know she did. Number one, there are, they don't, I don't think they... Too much like dealing with us DoorDash employees. It just adds to their workload. But it adds to the restaurants, you know, their funds. They don't really care about that. They don't own a restaurant. Keeping it real. Um, but that's pretty much how I dealt with it. I was just calm. I didn't attack her. I didn't say anything really rude to her at all. I was just like, really? I was stunned. 
Had this been six, seven years ago, eh, I would not have reacted like that. Uh, mad black woman would have come out of me. For real. But most of you guys know, just because of how I leave my comments, I'm always saying God bless you and all that. Most of you probably already have an idea that I'm a Christian woman. I am a godly woman. And, and I take that to heart. I take serving the Lord to heart. And when I serve him, I serve him with all my heart. When I'm dealing with people, I try not to react to how somebody acts towards me if it's in a negative way. I'm not going to let someone's actions affect my reaction so I can get out of character. I'm not going to let them steal my joy and get me out of this place, that that deep place that I have and relationship with I have um, with my Lord and Savior. That's truly, I mean this really and, and honestly, um, that's the best solution is to just... Really treat people kind, no matter how they treat you. Smile and say thank you, and um, you know, because you might plant something in their in their head in their heads that they might go home at night and like, dang, I was really rude to that lady. And the next time you come in, you might see a changed character on their part. But the thing is, guys, we can't change how people act towards us. We can change how we react. That's basically the bottom line here. How am I going to react to adverse situations? How am I going to let things affect me when I'm being treated poorly? So I just want to encourage you to just smile at these employees. Ask them how their day is going. You know, kind of break the ice. You guys busy tonight? You guys busy today? You know, you're getting a lot of DoorDash orders. Just dialogue with them. And um, sometimes that negative action towards you can be put to the side. So I think just common courtesy and um, I'm not saying kiss nobody's butt or nothing, but just be courteous and don't react. Don't let nobody steal your joy ever ever always come in peace and leave in peace because at the end of the day guys you don't want to take that situation home with you you want to leave it right there and you just want to get on you know, you can't have that built up frustration and anger because someone said something wrong to you or said something negative to you. Someone bit your head off or someone was mean to you. You you can't let that fester inside of you to the point like, man, just getting angry. For what? That That's like a bitter root inside of you, you know? And what what's There's no value in that. There's You gain nothing from it. You gain no satisfaction from that. Just built up anger. That you're just going to carry on. And you're going to go home. And you're going to tell somebody about it. And you're just going to constantly talk about the negative. So. That's my solution. Seriously. On, on how you deal with. People in general. Who are rude to you. Who act a certain way to you. That. It's not cool to you. But as a Christian, God is teaching me that I have to act in love in everything with everyone. Bottom line. Bottom line. I'm not ashamed of my faith. I'm not ashamed to tell y'all. I'll shout on the mountaintop. I'm a Christian and I love the Lord. And everything I do, I want to try to please him. I am not a perfect Christian by any means. I am a sinner. I have my faults. I have my failures. <laughs> I fall down, I get up. I fall down, I get up. But he's really the one picking me up. So, 
I don't know what that's worth to you, but it's worth so much to me. So much to me. And, and there's just no other way of handling situations for me than to just keep on smiling. Just keep on smiling. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. By the way, I've reached over 100 subscribers. That is a milestone. Thanks to you guys. I really do appreciate it. So, if you want to get paid on a daily basis, there is that link in the description box. You ready to start dashing? Booyah! Link is in the description box as well. Back to getting paid daily. Get paid every single day that you dash. Use my link if you would. So, I hope you guys come back for more of these inspiring, encouraging DoorDash videos. Plus, if you have any questions that you want me to answer in a video or just hit you back real quick, if you leave a comment, I will do that. All right? Until next time, God bless you. Be safe. God loves you. Deuces.